Do you have photos on an Android phone and you need to get them over to a Mac computer? Join me now and I'll show you how to do this. Hi, my name is Molly Bartelt and I own Pixology where we've been helping people feel confident and motivated to get their pictures saved. Now, getting photos from phones to a computer is a good thing to do because you have much more control over your pictures on your computer in folders. When people have Android phones and Apple computers, though, it can be challenging. You could use a service like Dropbox or OneDrive to sync your photos from your Android phone to your Mac, but I like to do something a little more direct, and that's called image capture. Before I show you how to use image capture, I just want to let you know that we're here for you on the journey of saving your family memories because there's more than just a daughter's old phone to get the pictures off of. We have CDs and USB drives and old print pictures. If you need a little bit of help figuring all of that out, we have a roadmap that you can download. See the link below and it might help you get started on this journey. Also hit subscribe so that you can be alerted when we upload new videos videos to help you save your family memories. We're going to get started by connecting our Android phone with its cable to your computer. You might need a special adapter depending on your phone and the ports on your computer and you can see a link below for some options in Amazon. Anyway, once your phone is connected to your Mac, you can swipe down and this is gonna look different depending on which Android phone you have. I'm using an old Motorola, so some of this hasn't been updated, but you're looking for the thing that says USB charging this device and tap for more options. Then you have some choices here and we're gonna click transfer photos, PTP. I had tried the files and that didn't work for the Mac. It might on a PC. Anyway, if you want to double check, you can just swipe down again and then you can see now it says USB for photo transfer. Before we go into image capture, there's a couple things I wanted to point out about the Google Photos app on your phone. Now, it might look different depending upon what version of phone you have and how updated the app is. Uh, this one's a little older, right? Because it's been sitting in a drawer for a few years. So we have the photos, which is the all photos view. And actually, Hannah works for us. And this summer project, uh, we take photos of all these albums. So probably those can be gotten rid of. But below that, there are many family pictures and photos from a trip that I would like to have. So anyway. Um, the, the photos shows everything that's on your phone, all right? If you go to library, you might see albums of other things. These albums may be albums that are in um, Google Photos online, okay? It's hard to know. Uh, so I just wanted to point that out. Newer uh, phones with the updated Google Photos app, it'll actually say photos on this device. So that helps you know for sure if you can actually copy the pictures off. If you want to go online and check your Google Photos online, you can just log into Google and go to the Google Photos app. Interestingly, um, my daughter has the backup complete on her phone, but this was years ago and somehow along the way, the photos were deleted out of her Google Cloud account. So you kind of have to keep that straight if that's important. It's also a place that you might have pictures you didn't know about. That's why we really want to keep on top of this. Anyway, um, that's the Google Photos app, and mostly what we're going to see in image capture is the photos that are in all photos view. And you can see this phone is even a little slow in loading the pictures, so hopefully we'll be able to get those. Anyway, let's take a look at image capture, okay? We are on my Mac, and I will point out that if you're connecting your Android phone for the first time, your computer might ask you if it's okay to connect with it, and of course you would click yes. What we want to do is go to your launch pad and type in image. And you can see this icon, image capture. It's been on your Mac all along. You probably just didn't know it. 
When your phone is connected, and it might take a little bit, um, you can see your Moto Z. It tells you how many pictures are on your phone, 682. And if you're just wanting to gather everything all at once, um, you can do that. You can just click one and then, then do Command A to select all of them. Or you could save them, you know, in chunks, like uh, by month or year or event, whatever you want. It is a little slower here, you know, filling in the, the pictures, um, but eventually those will, will show so that you can kind of see what you're looking at. And uh, what you do is just select the batch that you want to import, and I'll just select them all for um, today's purposes. And at the bottom, you can see it says import to, and you can actually choose where you want it to go. So I'm gonna click other, and I'm gonna go to the, let's go to the desktop, and uh, we'll just make a new folder called um, Android um, Photos. If it's a special event, you could use our formula 2024-01, uh, wedding, something like that, uh, you can do that as well. So now I have the folder created, I'm going to choose it. So now it's going to import them there and it deselected all my photos. So I'll command A to select them all again. And then I'm going to click download. I could click download all, um, but since they're all selected, that's fine. I want to point out that download is really not the correct word. Neither is importing. We're actually copying the photos from your phone to the folder on the computer. But uh, that's how Apple uses those words, so we're kind of stuck doing it. So now you can see that the photos are importing in. All right, there it goes. We've got all 682 pictures saved, except we have um, some errors here. Five of those photos didn't come over. And I guess I'll have to take a look at that individually on her phone. Let's take a look at the folder. So I'm going up to desktop and then to Android photos and that is where these 682 items are. Here are those five photos that aired out. And I don't know if it's that important to go back and figure it out, but um, you might want to if you think there's five photos that are really important to have. So all of these are in there and they're ready for further organization. And that's how you get pictures from your Android direct to your Mac computer. I hope this was helpful. If so, give it a thumbs up. And if you need help on organizing digital photos, watch this video next. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you the next time.